Good morning children. Today we shall learn about additive inverse of an integer. But first, what are integers? This is the representation of integers on a number line. So, all the positive integers, that is the counting numbers, are on the right side of 0. And all the negative numbers are on the left side of the 0. Now, if we see 4 and minus 4 are at equal distance from 0. See, 4 is at 4 units from 0 and minus 4 is also at a distance of 4 units from 0. Even though the directions are opposite in nature like 4 is on the right side of 0 and minus 4 is on the left side of 0. But the important thing is both are at equal distance from 0. Same way 7 and minus 7 are also at equal distance from 0 which is 7 units and 7 units. So, such numbers are called reflection of numbers like 4 and minus 4 both are equal distance from 0 but in opposite directions. Same way 7 and minus 7 both are at equal distance from 0 but in opposite directions. You know for every negative integer there is a corresponding positive integer on the number line which is at the same distance from 0 but with positive sign. So here we see for minus 7 which is a negative integer we have 7 which is positive integer but it is on the other side of 0. Same way for minus 4 we have 4. You know such reflections of number are called opposite numbers. So opposite of 4 is minus 4. Same way we can say what is the opposite of minus 7? It is 7. So opposite of minus 7 is 7. Now let us try to add two opposites which are minus 5 and plus 5. So for minus 5 we will go 5 steps or 5 units towards the left of 0. Here we reached minus 5 and now to add 5 we will move 5 steps in opposite direction that is towards the right side. So this is plus 5 we added. Now where did we reach? We reached to 0 which means minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 0. That is the sum of opposites is equal to 0 as minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 0 we can say the two integers minus 5 and 5 are called additive inverse of each other as their sum is equal to 0. So we saw minus 5 and plus 5 that is the sum of two opposites plus 5 and minus 5 is equal to 0. You know the two integers minus 5 and plus 5 which is 5 are called additive inverse of each other as their sum is equal to 0. Now let us find the additive inverse of these integers. 
what is the additive inverse of plus 6? It is minus 6. Why? Because minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. Next, what is the additive inverse of minus 4? It is equal to plus 4 as 4 lies on the right side of the 0 and minus 4 lies on the left side of 0 and their sum is equal to 0. Similarly, additive inverse of 32 is equal to minus 32. Same way, additive inverse of minus 17 is equal to plus 17. Remember, additive inverse are nothing but opposite integers whose sum is always equal to 0. So, we saw the additive inverse. Remember children, two integers are called additive inverse of each other if their sum is equal to 0. Like we saw, minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. So, now you know what is an additive inverse of an integer. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.